Yahoo! <laughs> Kemishan no Loretta this. So today I'm going to do a video basically on something that is very important, and that is the idea of holiday cards. Woo! So usually、um, I don't do many videos about like do it yourself stuff, but I think this is one of the most important keys to upkeeping your relationships with Japanese people or just any sort of people abroad or wherever you are.、Um, typically in Japanese, these cards are not called holiday cards, they're called nengajo, which is the New Year's cards, these sort of postcard style,、uh, sort of set form, cute little cards that are sent around、um, every year. So, I thought that I would talk a little bit about New Year's cards and why I think they're important while I show you the New Year's card that I'm going to draw today. Woo! Let's go! <laughs> okay, guys, so basically, to start off, Japanese nengajo or New Year's cards are usually sort of a set,、uh, fixed style. So, basically, you have a couple key elements that are really important that include、uh, the animal of the zodiac animal of the year that's coming up, as well as sort of well wishes in Japanese. For the new year、um, that's coming up. So, there, there are more traditional ways to do this where you sort of、uh, use calligraphy, and then there are more modern ways where you just sort of buy a card at your local family mart or Lawson.、Um, and in my case, I tend to like to make my own or just get kind of crazy and write long sagas and use that sort of、uh, Christmas card slash New Year's card as a chance to update people on what I've been doing. So, in the past, I know this looks pretty terrible, but in the past, this is actually one that I sent last year.、Um, I got, I really ran out of time, so I just found like a box of old Christmas cards that I had lying around and just basically filled up the open space up here, all in Japanese, to my Japanese host families and friends in Japan, and also to my friends and family here in the US, just to basically update them on everything. Now, I think I've done this about three times, three years in a row now, and <laughs> it's kind of funny because some of my friends in Japan basically they'll send me back a, a cute Japanese New Year's card that's like, Loretta, this is not a real New Year's card. You know how to make a Japanese one. Why are you sending these like lazy American Christmas card things? So, anywho, basically, in light of that, this year I'm still not doing a Japanese style. Card exactly. I'm still going to do the letter style that I always do.、Um, I'm basically just going to write a letter, but there will be some Japanese style elements to it. So today, what I'm going to be drawing is the sort of、uh, zodiac animal element of it. So this year coming up is 2014. Nisenju Yonnen. Do you guys know what zodiac animal the next year is going to be? It is the year of the horse. Woohoo! Or should I say, Nay! <laughs> Anywho, so basically,、um, one thing I like to do is draw a sort of cartoon character of myself wearing the sort of like a costume, an animal costume of the animal that the year is going to be. So this year, since it's a horse, it's gonna be a little weird, but whatever. Here we go, me as a horse. <laughs> Anywho, so in the meantime, I'll just sort of keep talking about my card last year and the years before.、Um, so, getting back to what I was saying earlier, I think it's really important. To do something like a holiday card or a Christmas card. I mean, it doesn't have to be around the holidays, but basically, the idea is that this is a great reminder once a year to get back in touch with those people that you may have sort of neglected, not neglected, but sort of missed out on、uh, keeping up your friendships with. So, for me especially, I do a lot of traveling between here and Japan and kind of all over the place for a lot of different reasons. So, I tend to like to update people. On what I've been doing via these,、um, these New, Year's, New Year's cards. <laughs> and basically, you don't have to go all traditional and do the calligraphy style, even though it's really fun. You should definitely do it at least once. But if you do want to do it that way, I'll go ahead and put a link、um, down below in the link area so you can see examples of how to do a traditional style card.、Um, and that would be a great. Thing to do, and it's really fun actually.、Um, but this year, again, since I am sort of quirky, and I guess I've made a reputation for myself for being like, I don't know, not Japanese, very American, like blah cards, I'm just gonna keep up with that. <laughs> If that's what they expect, that's what they get, or something like that. Anywho, so this one's really just basic. It's just me in a horse costume. So, I guess, anywho, in the meantime, I will talk about New Year's. So, are you guys making New Year's resolutions? I'm not. 
I definitely have goals that I want to um, accomplish in the, in the new year, but I feel like the moment their resolutions, I'm sure everyone says this as well, but the moment they become a resolution, that's literally the moment where I like give up on it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I try to avoid the word resolution, but basically there are a lot of things that I want to get done this year. Um, and there are a lot of things that are actually in the works, which I'll be talking about soon in another video. Um, but there are a lot of things that I want to do, not just with like my YouTube channel, but with my, uh, my Japanese business and other things as well. And I want to make a lot of new, um, what's, the, what's the word, steps to introduce uh, new services through my business um, that basically allow students to have more opportunities to do things if they're, um, you know, if they're English based to do things in Japan and if they're Japanese to do things um, that are, you know, in the US, since I'm US based usually, um, to have great opportunities to just sort of do this sort of international um, connection between these two places because it's amazing. But in the meantime, since I don't want to do too much to give all of that away, <laughs> there will be a lot of new stuff coming up in the next, I would say, um, maybe four, like one month, four weeks, one month. I, honestly, I meant to have a lot of stuff launched by now, but as I'm sure you've all experienced, the holidays kind of snuck up on us this year, again, as usual. <laughs> so here we are again, ready to be behind. <laughs> Hopefully not, but yeah, so, but more on that soon. Anyways, in terms of this thing here, I'm just kind of like scribbling because it's really going to be small. What I'm doing is I'm basically going to do like an A4 style, like a eight and a half by 11, just a normal letter um, and just have this picture sort of superimposed at the bottom. And then I'm going to decorate it with these stickers that I have lying around because I still haven't used them. It's these like rip off Rilakkuma that I got at a dollar store once. I was like, what, what are these things? I mean, what is this Rilakkuma? He's so relaxed. He's not even the real thing. And then these sort of like... Uh, winter themed animal stickers that I still have and I have nothing to do with them so eh, might as well use them. Anyways, but yeah, so that is how that will be. So now I'll do a quick little tail. Um, -da -da -da. And since it's a costume we need one of those cute like belly things. Ta -da. All right, and of course some cute little hearts because what's drawing without some hearts, huh? So there we have that. And then, since I am kind of obsessed with my dog, we obviously need to have her debut in this as well. I wonder if you can even see this. Anyway, so some of you have been sending in emails asking about the, um, the back to school series that I've been doing. Um, as I said earlier in the first two episodes, it's really, it's just a three-part series, but as you probably have noticed, I haven't gotten to the third episode yet, ah! and that's because it has to deal with one of these new developments that is still in the works that I just mentioned a little bit earlier. So basically, there is a lot of stuff that will be coming down the road, so please, thank you for being patient, um, please continue to be patient. I promise, not as a resolution, but as a realistic kind of goal thing, that um, there will be a new episode soon. Anywho, I'm not really sure what if I like this, but this is just Lily as a carrot, because horses like carrots. Maybe I should have done an apple for the big apple. Oh well, that's that. Um, so that is the drawing part. Now I normally ink these things, but I don't really have time to. So I'm just gonna go ahead and scan this into my computer. We'll do a quick coloring job and we're good to go. Woohoo! Right this baby. All right, let's see. I'm not even sure. Can you actually see? Oh, you can. That's pretty cool. Okay, great.
Bam! Okay, so here's the half sheet size. As you can see, it's a little bit more manageable and will fit into um, more envelopes that we can use. So that is that. I wonder, so, I mean, you can tell that it's not as detailed as the original. Where did I even put the original? Oh, here it is. Here was the original drawing that we did um, with the horse, horse um, costume and like Lily as a carrot, whatever. That was very fun. Um, but as you can see, we shrunk it down, which is why I didn't put too much effort into it. So it's now just, let's focus this guy. It now just looks like this. Ta-da! Very fun. Um, as you can see, I am a geek when it comes to these things. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that that is sort of the finished product. So what we're going to do is quickly decorate this so we can use it so I can send them out without any further ado. I'm going to stop messing with the camera in a second. Sorry about that. just wanted to get focused. Okay. So let's go ahead and decorate this thing. Woohoo! So while I decorate, I wanted to again point out, like I said, some of those important elements that we have in the Japanese cards. And we'll see if we meet those criteria. Um, so first things first is the idea uh, for these, th this occasion, obviously a New Year's card, Nengajo is obviously a card that we use um, when celebrating Oshogatsu. Oshogatsu is the New Year and it has a lot of different customs associated with it. But the one that I, again, find the most important is the letters and correspondence that we use to keep up with our friends. I just personally think that's kind of like the best part, but that's just me, you know? Um, but basically, so the nengajo that are used um, typically in Japan, you can send these, I, I mean, the whole point of this video that I wanted to show you guys was that you should be sending these as soon as you can. It is the perfect season for that, no matter where you are. Um, if you're in Japan, I know that there is sort of a deadline for December 25th. If you get your Nengajo out by December 25th, it's supposedly guaranteed to reach the uh, recipient by January 1st. But in the US, obviously we don't have, you know, we're not, we don't necessarily, we're trying to fit the Japanese New Year schedule. But I do know that we have um, a pretty good shipping time. Usually if, when I would ship from the US, it would take about at most a week. But sometimes just as, as few as like a couple days, I would get like email responses within three days from my host families saying like, oh, we got your card and here's like an e-card in response. Woohoo! E-cards in Japanese are pretty funny because they are adorable. Anyways, so yeah, so this, as you can see, I'm just doing a basic green trim. I don't want to sound too gross. Um, and I'm going to use these stickers I got. Remember, we have the Nisemono no Lirakuma. Or Lirakuma no Nisemono. I'm just going to kind of put these everywhere. One bear there. Da da da. And I want to use these stickers as well. These like, um, oh, you can't see it that way. These like Arctic stickers. They have like whales and seals and penguins and stuff. Penguin song. I'm gonna use, I don't know why I picked the whale. Oh well. Anywho, that should be enough stickers. Although I do kind of want to put like one last. Well, I have a lot I have to do. I have to do like 30 of these, but anywho. So you can do a lot with this. You can kind of go nuts, so. Um, but I think mine is pretty much good to go. I have like sparkly nail polish I could use to decorate this, but the point of this isn't necessarily to make a pretty card. It's more or less to make a stationery for the letter that I'm gonna write later. Which you guys don't get to see because it's personal. Woohoo! But yeah, so that's it. That is the Nengajo. I hope you enjoyed this sort of do-it-yourself project. Let me know what you think if you would like to see more. And again, um, as always, please rate and subscribe. Let me zoom in so we can see the final of the picture as well, because that one. That was pretty cool. Woohoo! Akemashite, omeretou gozaimasu! Kotoshi mo yoroshiku onegaishimasu! So here we have the element here. Happy New Year! Even though it says Merry Christmas up here. But we have the element down here that says Happy New Year! And the uma! Uma doshi desu ne, kotoshi wa, eh, ma, rainen desu ne. Let me know what you guys thought. Leave a comment or uh, send me an email as usual. 
Um, either way, feel free to link, subscribe, share, do all the great stuff. That would be awesome. Thank you. And I will talk to you hopefully again next week. We'll see how the holidays go. But otherwise, I hope to talk to you guys soon. Okay. Ja, daishu, dekireba daishu ni mata aimashou. De kyou wa arigatou gozaimashita. Matta ne, oretta deshita. Bye bye. Oyasumi nasai. Merry Christmas.